Investment Accounting 9B, Demand Analysis, Increase in Capacity and Target Cost. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep, and the reference where we got the information for this question. Um, let's go up to the top first and talk about a manufacturer of flags. And let's assume that up until now, They've had a capacity of 60,000 units or 60,000 flags. And so if we look at prior year actuals, they sold 50,000 units. If we do some multiplication, we get revenue, variable co less variable cost gets us contribution margin. We subtract a fixed cost, and we get an operating income of 90,000. But let's assume that they spend some money. They add equipment, and the equipment's going to allow them to increase their capacity by 30,000 units from 60,000 up to a new capacity of 90,000. So they're doing a projection for the year. And they say, well, let's project 60,000 units rather than 50. But there's something else going on as far as customer demands, and that is that a market survey shows that a dollar drop in the unit sales price increases sales by 10,000 units. So the price is declining from 24 to $23 a unit, and units sold is increasing by 10,000. So you'll see that the math works out so that we have higher revenue, higher variable cost. We have depreciation on that new equipment that we bought to increase capacity. Our annual depreciation is 20000 so that we have a little bit more profit if we cut the price a dollar to increase sales by 10000 And we're still a little bit more profitable from one hundred, from ninety to 100000 even though we're incurring this additional $20,000 in depreciation expense. Well, what if we take the example further? What if we go from $23 and we expand production so that we lower the price to 22 to 21 to 20 and each year the units sold is going up from 70 to 80 to 90, 90,000 being our new capacity number. What's interesting about this is, is that we reach a point, the issue down here is where the profitability drops off. That really our best strategy is to have a price of $22 to get $70,000 70, units sold. That's going to generate a contribution of $490,000, less fixed costs and the additional depreciation we get up to an operating income of 110,000, but beyond production of 70,000, if we go up to 80 or 90, we see that our operating income drops off. It's 10,000 lower from here to here, it's 10,000 lower from here to 70,000, it's 30,000 lower. So the optimal unit sold level is 70,000 units in this example. So at some point, it doesn't do you any good to keep cutting prices and selling more because eventually that those higher costs, those higher variable costs, catch up with you. And then we talk lastly about target costing, which I define over here as a management issue, where we target the amount of cost that we want to incur. Now we could do it in dollars, but I did it to make it a little easier as a percentage of sales. So we're going to increase pop profit by controlling cost and specifically not letting costs get to be more than 85% of sales. We're willing to accept that $360,000 fixed cost, let's assume, for whatever reason we don't think we can cut it or control it, but we think we can control the variable cost. So management reduces the variable cost to reach their profit margin goal of 15%. So that 100% of sales less 85% cost equals 15%. What I did here was 
in order to generate a profit margin of 15%, I started manipulating the variable cost number. So in this case, variable cost went from $15 a unit down to $13.20 a unit. And the math worked out so that we had an operating profit, 280000 that is 15% of the sales or revenue number, a million three eighty. And further, I went over here and I did it for the other projections too. If you remember from above, the $22, $21, $20 sales, higher units sold each year. And what I found was is that the variable costs, in order to get a profit margin of around 15%, as sales units sold increased, we had to cut that variable cost slightly each year, from 1320 to 1310 to 13 to get a profit margin that was approximately 15%. So what I said at the bottom here is, is that the variable cost per unit must decline as the production increases, going from left to right, to maintain a 15% profit margin. So that's how we would plan, is to say, well, our starting point is this much of a profit margin, how do we get there? In my example, it's not always true. We assume the fixed costs stay flat at 360000 so does that depreciation, which isn't surprising that depreciation would remain constant. What can we change? We say as management, we can change variable cost. And we do. That's the end of Management Accounting 9B. You'll see it our website video textbooks, which were 30 minute to an hour videos recorded by Accounting Topic. You can get details and the pricing information at the website. We also have spreadsheet templates from almost all of our unit video, all of our YouTube videos available, that spreadsheet templates that we use to make the videos. For one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, here's our email address and our phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.